Emerson, a leader in precision factory automation and control systems. Assembling your SPRA electric rod style actuator correctly is crucial for ensuring safe and efficient operation. Let's go over how they're put together. There are two options, inline adaption and parallel adaption. The SPRA inline configurations comprise of three main sections, the linear unit, the inline adapter, and the motor. First of all, assemble the coupling. Start by separating the coupling into halves, aligning them with the shaft on the motor and linear unit. Pay attention to the positioning dimensions provided for coupling with or without foot mountings. Then tighten the screws following the instructions specified in the manual. Now let's move on to assembling the motor. Mount the coupling housing to the linear unit by inserting the square seal with cutout between both components. Tighten the four hexagon socket screws securely following the provided guidelines. Next, attach the motor flange to the coupling housing. Insert the round seal between the motor flange and the coupling housing and tighten it using the four screws. Make sure to align the coupling in line with the positioning dimension information, considering whether or not a foot mounting kit is used. Lastly, mount the motor flange to the motor itself. Now let's have a look at the other version. The SPRA parallel configurations comprise of three main sections, the linear unit, the parallel adapter, and the motor. First, mount the motor to the intermediate plate. Next, assemble the linear unit to the intermediate plate using the square seal. Secure with the four hexagon socket screws. Do not tighten the screws yet. Now the toothed belt will be assembled. Push the linear unit up to the motor as far as possible and tighten the screws by hand. Set one connector sleeve each on the linear unit shaft and the motor shaft. Place the pulleys into the toothed belt and push them over the connector sleeves. Adjust the pulley and secure them by tightening the nut. Insert the pretension screw into the side hole of the intermediate plate and tighten the tooth belt with the pretension screw until both guides are straight and parallel. Now adjust the pretension screw until the required belt tension has been reached. Once the correct frequency is set, secure the special screws and check the tooth belt frequency. Finally, place the flat gasket on the intermediate plate and install the gearbox cover. Fasten the cover with the hexagon socket screws. Use the seal discs. By carefully following these assembly steps, you can achieve a properly assembled Emerson SPRA electric rod style inline actuator, resulting in optimal performance, extended lifetime, and improved efficiency. For detailed instructions and further guidance, always refer to the provided manual or visit emerson.com slash eventix.